This video is brought to you by Prompt Valley Air Conditioning and Heating. 775-727-7488. I don't think our leadership is doing quite enough to fight for our freedoms, to establish a state where we can be free to be ourselves, to run our businesses, and to raise our families and, and our children. I think in the last year or two, we've seen pretty pretty clearly that the First Amendment's kind of been under, under assault in some kind of ways. Some of the restrictions and our reactions to the pandemic have kind of uh, restricted our, our liberties and our freedoms. What I want to see happen is I want to see our lawmakers try to rein in the governor, try to rein in any kind of executive rule by fiat is what I've been seeing. I think the lawmakers have to come together and do some sort of legislation, come together, pass a law that is going to rein in and restrict the governor's ability to have perpetual states of emergency. So within three weeks or four weeks of any declared state of emergency, I think a session of Congress of the legislature has to be called in order to extend or to continue the states of emergency, because I think there's too much, too much power there. I don't really want to tear down someone to build myself up. Uh, so what, what, what I see, there are some policy differences, of course, but what I see with myself is, is uh, a fighter's ability uh, to take it, to take the fight to Carson City, uh, speaking to lots of people. In my industry, I've spoken to uh, dozens and dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of, of, of clients in the past year or two. And I don't feel like their needs and their voices are being heard. Matt Sadler's campaign kickoff celebration is this Saturday, January 15th from 4.30 to 9 at the Bob Brood Community Center. Sadler will compete against incumbent Gregory Hafen in the primary election scheduled for June 14th. To learn more about Sadler, just visit VoteMattSadler.com. He's also on Facebook.